Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is your weekly love tarot reading session for you Scorpio. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Scorpio. Let us see what is the love message that it's meant for you to know, ready for you to know. This is for my Scorpio family. Sorry, my voice is hoarse. Is that correct? Is that the right English? But yeah, it's very... Um, it sounds sick, but I'm not. Okay. I just happen to have overuse of my singing voice. I had ice cream and an aircon inside. And then I've been exploring Manila. It's so hot. And then every night karaoke so this is what happened but it's gonna get back it's gonna heal <clears throat> so let's see what's coming towards you scorpio what is the love message for you this is an exclusive love reading love message love energy for scorpio sign let's see what can i get for scorpio love relationship they can get into now Ooh. You've got a lot of a nine of swords, eight of swords in here. What can you get for Scorpio? Six of cups. Okay. Okay, Scorpio, I'm just gonna drink water and you will start your reading. Mmm. Okay, I've been I've been told to add another layer. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so Queen of Cups, yeah. That's it. That completes the energy. Sometimes if you're a reader, you know, you've got to follow your instinct. You know, my guide is telling me add one more row. Okay, there you go. So, let's get you. Okay, there you go. That's the answer. So, your overall energy is the king of pentacles this is a love reading a six of pentacles and the ten of cups you want to achieve happiness okay uh king of pentacles i really feel like this is the best time of your life or uh there's a feeling of this is the best time this is the best moment this is this is a good time to action you know king of pentacles the six of pentacles this is a very auspicious time or something tells me with the six of pentacles a king of pentacles you want to commit and you want to get your happiness you know and you want everybody happy for some of you king of pentacles you want to gradually get your happiness this is i'm really picking up i don't think this is you scorpio um okay let's get another one this is scorpio yeah look at that six and seven so there's someone there is a romantic person scorpio if i get an eight oh my god let's see wheel of fortune yeah auspicious time so there is a person or a romantic situation scorpio that they are they want to offer you something but it's a slow offer and it's a very practical offer six and seven like they're counting the days six seven you know this person who is connected to you romantically they want to offer you happiness whatever it is that you want from them but it's gonna be it's a long shot yeah thank you spirit you know but they're feeling great that you guys are in the right direction to get there the will of fortune there's a feeling in here that this person will take a leap of faith. You know, I will take a risk, take a leap of faith for you, Scorpio, because I really want to be happy. But it's, it will take a while. It's a long shot, but they're willing to do it. Six, seven, because from six to seven, like, I'm also getting that this is the best, best time, best moment for me to take the action towards getting the Ten of Cups, okay? So, it's a work in progress. And, um, 
it is with someone in the past it, it could be a past person working with long distance relationship it could be a past person who is separated divorcee divorcee it's a person who six of pentacles seven of pentacles their priority is money but it's improving so there's someone who is i would say one more please seven of ones who's willing to fight for you but you gotta be there so they're willing to fight for you but they have to feel your initiative like this person in the past they were indecisive or let's put it this way this person they want to fight for you but they don't have the resources okay now this person will start to have the right resor resources the best timing they're in the position to not only fight for you but to do it but you gotta be there like you have to stand by them and you need to wait for them so that they're more inspired to do it something of that vibe because in the past it's it's more of <clears throat> uh this is this person in the past is like okay scorpio um i will fight for you i will be there you know for example you're in a long distance relationship verbally this person is like i will fight for you i will be there but the thing is they don't have the resources they don't have the money to move okay now this person is changing they cannot only fight for you but they can actually do it now they have the resources so if this person say you tell, tell you i will move where you are they already have the money to do it they have a way to do it in the past they don't they have a way out a way in a way out and a way in towards you for a while this is I should write it down way in way out yeah thank you spirit thank you spirit yeah wow thank you spirit because it's it's when i when i was picking up the uh, i feel like there's so many guidance that i'm receiving today not only that but this i was praying to give me a voice because i really want to you know to um you know i want to convey the important message for you guys and then you get you give me a dislike <laughs> okay uh the amount of energy oh my gosh all right so let's pick up more intuitive message for you guys you've got the empress card nine of swords yeah you have a lot of you look you look in like outside you look confident but inside <clears throat> scorpio you're trembling okay so what you project outside what you project what people sees in you um, is you look confident, you're okay, but you've got a lot of thoughts, a lot of fears, a lot of anxiety, a lot of things that makes you, you know, Nine of Swords, this is heavy, you know, combination of Nine of Swords, Five of Cups, yeah, you have a lot of thoughts and fears and worries and sadness, but you don't say it to your friends or family, you only, you only share good emotions with people and you're keeping the bad emotions the not good emotions the not good thoughts within yourself it's not healthy okay because in here you're like i'm good i'm fine so people person your friends or family the world sees you as strong able to make it beautiful handsome so you're projecting something good strength but you're not you're not asking for help nine of swords five of cups you're not always going to be strong scorpio okay remember that so in terms of love you've got some worries and concerns and fears about love and relationship you also have some sadness that you want to process and you're keeping it with you scorpio you're keeping it all in and you're projecting that I'm fine. I will survive. You're, you're like 50-50. I don't know. Maybe you don't want other people to be bothered about your emotional instability. The emotional side. The fear about love and romantic. Something that, something tells me that you're keeping something for yourself. 
you don't want to share your sadness, your disappointment. It could be with the Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups. You are trying to heal yourself alone. You know, sometimes, because Scorpio actually, we go in the dark and then we cry. And then we open the light and it's all gone. So in daytime, you are entertained about the world, life as it moves, which is wonderful. And probably at night, that is where you manifest, you pray, you meditate. And that is where you think of your worries and concern. And then you fall asleep. Okay? So, maybe this is your strategy right now to keep it secret, to keep it hush-hush, to keep it within you. To process it within the four corners of your heart and soul. Because you have a nine of cups, so... There's something that you would like to keep it on your own right now. The yeah, Ace of Swords. Until such time that you are solid with how you will present this sadness, this news. There's something that you want to keep it. You want to keep it private, secret. Just you. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to see the world, your family, your friends. That you're weak. You know, they see you as strong. I feel like you're doing this because in terms of love, you want to catch up that Ace of Swords. Like, you have this energy, Scorpio, where internally, I'm still weak, but I'm projecting that I'm strong. And eventually, it would catch up. Like, it would synchronize that internally, I will be strong. And outside, I'm like, it, you are already you are manifesting, you're claiming, I'm gonna be strong, I'm gonna be fine. But internally, there's still something that you're working on. So, you know, you're, I'm fine, I'm strong. But internally, you know, it's like this, you know. And then eventually, it will click, synchronize, and that inner and outer strength would catch up, okay? Catch up, so good, so yeah we have different ways and mechanism of how we process emotions but this is quite unique this is very scorpio so i'm proud of you guys then uh so this is all about you and how you process disappointment emotions feelings and i believe the reason why you're sitting in this energy is because you guys scorpio we will have a first uh full moon i think it's a lunar eclipse I think the last time was 2014 or 2016. Yeah. So, interesting. So, yeah. So, this is what you're going to... You're going to purge. You're going to purge your emotions, your feelings. In a way where you're going to purge emotions and feelings on your on your own time. Or without the help of, without the help of any anybody. You're going to purge it. You know, you're gonna eclipse it, you're gonna release it without the help of anyone. You know, people have no clue that you have actually moved on. Right now, you're kind of projecting, I've moved on, but not yet. And then eventually, I feel like after May 16th, that full moon Scorpio, it's gonna feel, it's gonna feel good. Okay, so you're doing all the work now. What else is coming towards you? You've got the Sun card. The Sun card. I'm picking up a baby, yeah, with your pentacles, four of wands. You might get pregnant this year, Scorpio. <clears throat> you might get pregnant this year, Scorpio. You might be pregnant living with someone this year. Okay, that's unexpected. But yeah, this year I'm seeing you getting pregnant and being with someone the hangman sorry i put it in reverse hangman four of pentacles is this you wow four 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 wow okay nine of wands is this for scorpio so there is a gemini libra aquarius who is watching you you're on the watch list like there is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, who is not reaching out, not calling you, but they've been heavily watching you. What is their next move? Yeah, they'll take a risk. 
I feel like this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they're watching you, they're waiting for you, they're quite tired this week, but they'll take a rest and connect with you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got Eight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the High Priestess. So, if you have a third party, if there's a third party involved, Scorpio, the third party is looking for you. Someone is looking for you. Yeah. Oh, look at that. So, this is the, it's the third party. This woman or man is searching for the secret. And it's one thing to know who is the third party. It's, this is you, Scorpio. Someone is hunting or looking for you, third party. Not your lover, but their ex-husband, ex-wife. Someone of an ex or the other party is looking for you, searching for you. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, three, three of swords. Um, this person is looking for you because... Yeah, someone is looking for you, Scorpio. Uh, because they're aware that you are the third party and that you might end up together with your husband or wife, you know. Yeah, high priestess, the queen of wands, ten of pentacles. Like, they're so... They're looking for you because they're insecure. And that... They're kind of accepting that you might end up together with your husband or wife. Yeah, age of wands. I feel like if someone is looking for you, Scorpio, ex-husband, ex-wife, or someone's looking for you, it's a good news. It's... it's I mean, age of wands, it's more of... Because they're threatened. You know, if someone is looking for you, an ex of your ex, or there's a third party involved, they're looking for you, and they want to know you because they're so threatened. Because you are the Ten of Pentacles. Like, you might, they might go separate. Yeah, this per whoever this person is, they're very bothered. They want to know you. Like, it's a feeling where... Okay, you are the mistress of my husband or my wife. I want to know you because I'm. they're very threatened that you will end up together. Like, no matter what they do, it seems to be that you guys will end up. <laughs> scary. Really scary, but you might be chosen unexpectedly because the Ten of Swords is here. Like the wife or the ex, the husband or the, the other party is looking to find out why their, their, their lover is choosing you. And you're not even connected with them. I feel like this is a natural separation. You know, like you had an affair with somebody or yeah, you had an affair. You're not together anymore. And they're separated. And this wife or husband is still blaming you where in fact you're no longer together with this person yeah ten of wands ten 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 there's an ending this person is looking for you because they've ended a relationship and they blame you ten 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 but you're no longer part of the picture this is something that a marital status should like you're you're not part of maybe in the past but right now i don't think you are part of the reason totally like you could really say to this person i'm not together with your boyfriend girlfriend husband or wife yeah you're single and <clears throat> you're single and really looking for new love and you found out from somebody that your ex separated from their someone they're threatened because they're aware that their ex their husband or their wife who they separated completely separated will definitely come back to you you're a nine of pentacles i mean i mean look at that you're nine you're perfect you want new love so 
it could be synchronicity that once upon a time they're unavailable now they're available and you're available so this bitch <laughs> is blaming you for something that you you did not do yeah careful Scorpio one more Star card could be an Aquarius but this is fate if you were if you are re reunited with someone who separated recently or about to separate that's because it's your destiny to be together you fought it long hard like <clears throat> you gave you gave you gave them up and now the universe is giving you a way in Scorpio not sure if you're interested but this clearance clearance okay and then the last reading you've got the hierophant card the queen of pentacles let's see the knight of wands and the two of pentacles um so there's a relationship that there's a there's a relationship in here or a connection that's so boring you could be in a relationship or you're connected to someone whose relationship is boring force yeah the someone who is in a relationship that's boring it's stagnant it's not leveling up yeah so you know because we we're entering eclipses so eclipses on so I feel like there's a relationship that is codependent, uh, boring, stagnant. It won't last long. It would be purge. It would be eclipse. It would be zap. So something tells me that there is a an almost tower moment that's gonna happen to a very codependent, boring, not leveling up, stagnant relationship. It will be gone. It will be dealt with. And if it's strong, it's gonna stay. And it's gonna change if it's not strong it's gonna go something has to go down in order for you Scorpio to have a new beginning there's a six of cups a temperance card Ooh. yeah look at that so something's gonna go down <coughs> sorry guys um sorry i'm just gonna drink water guys there is a big a, a very big breakup there is a very big breakup may 16 17 18 may 15 16 17 18 there is going to be a shake up a very big breakup that are starting all over again you could be the one breaking up or you could witness a breakup but may 15 16 17 18 that's it yeah see you see guys i know sometimes i'm really i'm really a good witch you see 15 16 17 18 my intuition never lie death card um 15 16 17 18 okay guys i ask for your um prayer or meditation that my voice heals because so much message coming through but my voice is harsh and i'll see you soon guys you have a great day bye bye